guys, welcome back to another episode of Love Island the Game Double Trouble. If you're new here, my name is Leia and welcome to my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Join the fam. All that good stuff. Don't forget to follow me on all my socials. Everything will be linked down in the description. Everything is in a playlist. Just reminding you guys in case you did not know and you're new to this channel. Definitely check the channel out. I do vlogs, mobile gaming, unboxings, parade hauls, all that stuff. So just check out my channel, take a gander. And if you like, subscribe and share this channel. Also give this video a thumbs up, share this video, share this channel, all that good stuff. Journey to 1K subs, 1K subs. We are already at that middle mark, 500. Thank you again. Can't thank you guys enough. Previously on episode 23, we had, let's see, the key moments. We had um, we had a beer pong challenge. Well, like a game, kind of. Um, finding out some embarrassing facts about some of the Casa guys. Found some embarrassing facts about some of us. Kind of, sort of. <laughs> uh, found out that Grace kissed Hamish. And she has a theory that Elliot left us that note. Also, Marshall and Amelia getting kind of close. Grace said that they kissed. Uh, who else was? I think it was Hamish also that said 100% that he seen them kiss. Uh, I think Bella questioned. Like, you know, we was trying to get the information from Amelia herself, but she would not say anything. We left off with Grace and... Mar no, we left off with Amelia and Marshall coming to us talking about we have something to tell you. So I'm already feeling like... He about to tell me he putting his eggs in her basket, whatever, whatever, but I don't know. Let's just jump straight on into it. Love Island the Game, Double Trouble, episode 24. Let's go. All right, episode 24, Never Have I Ever. A game of Never Have I Ever reveals some juicy secrets, and the hideaway is open. How we got the hideaway open in Casa more? I feel like that shouldn't even be a thing, but... Previously on Love Island, the Casa Mo Losers party was in full swing until Marshall and Amelia decided to make a big reveal to Erica. I've been to a few loser parties in my time. I'd love to go to a winner's party, but I've never met the entry requirements. I remember losing a comedy competition once. I tried out my 10 best puns, assuming they'd all get a laugh. No pun and 10 did. Anyway, let's find out what Amelia and Marshall's big reveal is. You stand with Amelia and Marshall at one side of the party. We have something to tell you, Erica. And we wanted to tell you first before anyone else found out. Wouldn't want to seem like we were being snaky or anything. What is it? Well, me and Marshall are going to be heading back to the main villa as a couple. I knew it. I knew it. I knew this is what they were going to tell me. Something along these lines. What? Yeah, Amelia is going to twist with me at the recoupling. We're really bouncing off each other and we want to explore what we have. See where this romance can go. I know you had your eye on Marshall too, but I can't hide how I feel for him. And I can't help the spark I feel with Amelia. Didn't see it coming. And I hope you don't think we've gone behind your back. I think it took us both by surprise. We feel what we feel and we can't help that. What about our connection, Marshall? What about the connection me and you were developing? Was that not real? No, it was real. We clicked and you're definitely my type. You both are, obviously. It's just me and Amelia have so much in common. There's this electric vibe between us. It's obviously still early days. We're not exclusive or anything. I'm just twisting with Marshall and we'll keep exploring things and seeing if we keep vibing like this. Right. The rest of the Islanders have noticed your chat and gather around to pay attention. I guess we should fill you all in. Amelia and Marshall stand in front of the group hand in hand. Everyone, we've got an announcement to make. But we will be walking to the main villa together. They just told me. I don't get it. Amelia's gonna twist with me at the recoupling. We're really vibing and we want to explore what we have. See where it takes us. Right on. Well, shall we raise a toast to Amelia and me? I don't know, man. I kind of feel some time. I kind of feel some kind of way, I'm gonna be real honest. 
I mean, I know she stepped back when I told her about Jamal, even though she did feel the connection. And she stepped back and she was respectful about it. And she hasn't been vibing with anybody in the villa. Congrats, I'm happy for you both. Oh, congrats guys, I'm happy for you both. Yay, thanks Erica. I know you and Marshall joked initially, but having you support us like this means the world to me, to us both. Having the support of the sister is a big win. Well, let's see where it goes. It's still early days, but you both seem to be feeling it. This is why we're both here, to find a connection like this. I'll be interested to see where it goes. To new beginnings, you all raise your glasses and cheers. Me and Marshall want a proper private chat with you about this. Let's talk. Marshall and Amelia lead you off to the kitchen. I'm not sure what else there is to talk about. As soon as you enter the kitchen, Amelia turns and gives you a beaming smile. I'm so happy to hear you're behind me and Marshall. Of course I am. Me twisting might shake things up back in the villa. But I have to be selfish in here. Marshall throws her a playful smile. Not too selfish. We just talked about it and it felt right. Marshall is the first guy that's walked in and given me genuine flutters. Like the first proper spark I've had in the villa, don't you think? I don't even know what to say. <laughs> um, like I don't wanna be a sour sister, you know? <sighs> the sparks are defo flying. Absolutely, I've not seen you like this with the guy in here yet. Glad you're both in agreement. It does feel like we have something exciting. I feel it too. We're just in a good place. I'm genuinely happy. Give her a supportive hug. You lean in and give her a supportive hug. If you're both happy, that's what matters. Since I've come here, I've been focused on getting to know Amelia. I came here to find a connection and I have. My focus is on exploring that connection. I'm gonna say you seemed pretty interested in me not too long ago because he did. He made it seem like his head wasn't gonna turn. None of that. And now all of a sudden you're all about Amelia. Like, I don't know. You were flirting up a storm with me not so long ago. I have a better memory than you, it seems. Yeah, I am a massive flirt and we had some good chats. I'd say it went beyond chatting. What does that mean? It means he's getting a bit of a rep in here. The other girls are starting to pick up on it too. The other girls barely know me. Who's been saying stuff? Wouldn't you like to know? Wouldn't you like to know? I would actually, if people are talking about me behind my back. You seem a little rattled. Where have you been caught out so early? Chill, Erica. This was supposed to be a little one-on-one -on -one chat to let you know how happy I am. Not an interrogation for poor Marshall. I appreciate you looking out for me, but let's maybe leave it. Sorry for interrupting, but can I have a word with Erica? Alone? Yeah, I think we're done here anyway. You follow Grace out to the loungers. Grace sits down across from you, leaning forward to ensure you both can't be overheard. That whole Amelia and Marshall announcement doesn't surprise me. He moves fast, that one. Well, it's her decision if she wants to give it a go. Of course, you're just being a good sister supporting her. Grace looks around at the villa before inching closer to you. I really think you should give them some breathing space. I'm not sold on him yet. But if I'm wrong about him, he and Amelia are pretty cute. You should just take a back seat and see what happens. There's something about these gorgeous twins that keep coming in here. People can't get enough. Grace smiles at you endearingly. Endearingly. So, why did you want to chat? One word. Rhymes with slick. Hamish gave it me. You had sex? No, 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 the opposite. I think he might have given me the ick. What's he done? I can't talk about it on a full stomach. It'll make me queasy. Is it that bad? We were getting cozy on the day beds this morning. Things had calmed down a bit since our kiss. We were just chatting casually. And he took his top off for me to put sun cream on him. And you wouldn't believe what I saw. A huge wedge of fluff in his belly button. Graphic. Ugh, it was like the plug hole in my uni showers. And then he tried to laugh it off by doing a creepy baby voice. Oh no, that's the biggest ick of all. I told him I had to run inside to grab some water just to get out of there. Is that a bit mean? Hamish is a walking ick. 
Hamish is a walking, talking ick, Grace. No offense. Maybe. The belly button thing did go through me massively. But I think even before then, I knew there was something missing. I guess icks are just excuses for why we don't like someone. The truth is, I'm leaning towards sticking with Ozzy. The kiss with Hamish was alright. But I feel like I'm kidding myself with him. He was telling me about his favorite property podcast yesterday. And I fell asleep. And not even in a I felt bored and yawn kind of way. I was literally snoring. Sounds like you aren't jelly. And yesterday, he asked about my credit score. That must be a first in here. He's alright to look at, but I don't think our personalities are in sync. With Ozzy, it's something I actually want to make work. I know you might be open to him too, which I don't want to get into again, but I can't move past Ozzy. There's something that keeps drawing me back to him. There's a few issues with me and Oz, and we obviously aren't perfect. I wouldn't have kissed Hamish if we were, but I'd be willing to put the effort in with Ozzy. Sounds like you kind of made your mind up. Maybe. I'll have a word with Hamish later. He said we should jump on the Mallorcan property ladder together. Really? Think he already sees me and him running off into the sunset. Don't know how he'll take me sticking with Oz. Here's me pulling you for a chat just to talk about myself. I sensed you and Elliot weren't seeing eye to eye before you left. He seems nice, but you haven't had much time together. He might have fluff in his belly button for all we know. Exactly. We'll need to, exactly. We'll need to investigate when we're back. But that's main villain nonsense. Let's talk about the Costa boys. I guess Marshall is out of bounds, for better or worse. And Hamish should probably be avoided at all costs. Unless you want the credit score snores. Which leaves Francis and Andy. If you had to pick one right now, who would it be? Andy is my fave Casa boy. I'd probably go with Andy. Aw, uh, Andy is really sweet. Yeah, I guess we'll see where it goes. It might go all the way back to the main villa. Erica. Oh, you must have heard us. There you are. Hi, hon. We were just talking about you. All good things, I hope. Wouldn't you like to know? Just playing around. I need to go stretch my legs. And see a man about a belly button. Bye! Andy gives you a humored look as Gray struts past him. A man about a belly button? Officially confused. She's joking. How are you? I'm good. Starting to realize that any day could be my last in here. Where were you going to leave with some regrets? Well, that's why I came over, actually. Wanted to invite you up to the terrace for a private chat, just me and you. That's one thing I know I'd regret not doing if I didn't. Well, let's go then. You and Andy sit back on the terrace. It was really sweet seeing you congratulate Amelia earlier. Of course, she's my sister. I know Grace has been saying a few things about Marshall, but the worst thing you can do is tell someone not to do something. It'll just make them want to do it even more. Amelia will do what she wants at the end of the day. I like your approach. Andy runs his fingers through his hair with a blush smile. I'm looking forward to getting to know you a bit better over the coming days and having some fun along the way. What's your idea of fun back home then? Nights out with vets are always great. They're no better than the animals we look after a few drinks. After the vets have drinks, I mean, not the animals, obviously. Yeah, I got that, Andy. I also love staying in with whatever animals I'm fostering. What animals have you fostered? I fostered an injured turtle called Stu once, nursed him back to health. When he was better, I found out he was native to Mexican waters. I flew to Merida to release him properly into the Gulf of Mexico. No idea how little Stu ended up in Stevenage. So, a social butterfly with a bit of animal conservation, conserva, conservationist thrown in. <laughs> That's me. I want to know what makes you tick. Are you a night out or a night in kind of girl? Depends on my mood. I think it depends on my mood, to be honest. If I'm just feeling a little lazy, a good night in. If I'm feeling energetic, night out it is. You're flexible, I like it. What about you? I can do a little bit of both, in or out, if the mood takes me. Nights out with me are always next level. Why is that? Well, my apartment is quite minimalist and I don't live a crazy day-to-day -day life. So I tend to go all out when I party. All drinks are on me, I make sure none of my mates spend a penny. Oh, really? My mom always tells me it's a waste. 
I just have a better time when the people around me are having fun. But then again, my nights in can be pretty memorable too. Memorable? In what way? I usually bring some of the foster puppies back if I'm having a night in. Let them run around my house before they go on to a proper family. Ten little puppies snuggled up to us while we hang out and watch a film. Nothing beats it. Basically, whether it's a night in or a night out, I got you covered. Good to know. Andy looks at you with big eyes and a warm smile. Your eye contact is on point, you know? I know it. And there's this aura around you. While us Casa boys were waiting for the girls to arrive, it was you we were most excited to meet. Really? Why is that? You have a magnetism. Andy leans closer to you, close enough to smell his fresh cologne. You look beautiful right now. Let's have a slow dance. Why don't we have a little slow dance? Andy jumps to his feet and offers you his hand. Milady, you take his hand and immediately find yourself swaying on the terrace under the stars. He takes control, you feel safe and comfortable in his muscular arms. He pulls you out for a gentle spin before expertly leading you back into his chest. I can see you've got some moves. Likewise, you feel Andy's eyes searching your own. Can I kiss you right now? Yes, please. Let me have a little think. Why don't you come a little closer? Andy leans a little closer. You feel his warm breath against your lips. Closer. You passionately lock lips as you wrap your arms around him. His lips feel soft against your own as the kiss deepens. You gently tussle his hair and share a smile as you pull away from each other. I can feel us getting closer. Closer. Cheesy. I wish we could spend all night up here just chatting. You're kind of ticking a lot of boxes. Kind of? Well, you're clever, funny, strong. Brilliant kisser. You love a good night in and a good night out. Boxes are being ticked. Sounds like it. Suddenly, Bella runs out onto the terrace. What's going on here? Me and Andy were just getting to know each other a little better. I think we saw you both slow dancing from the garden. Cute! When the mood takes. Well, I came up here because we're all at the fire pit about to play Never Have I Ever. No one wanted to start until you were there, Erica. Makes sense. She's a life and soul in here. Never Have I Ever sounds fun. Let's go. The group is full of excited mischief as you make your way to the fire pit. Here they are. Never have I ever had to wait for Erica and Andy while they grabbed on the terrace. No one told us we were playing. It's just an impromptu game. Spice up the evening a little. Not too much spice. Sounds like you're worried something will come out. Amelia and Marshall give each other a toying smile. Right, remember to drink if you have done it. Better top of my glass, there's not much I haven't done. I'll go first, start simple. Never have I ever had a threesome. Yeah, drink. You take a drink as the others look on in astonishment. Erica, you never told me that. You never asked. Well, you never asked either. Amelia blushes before taking a sip from her cup. Double trouble. You girls are wild. No regrets. Suddenly, Marshall takes a go from his cup with a shrug. I already told you guys about this one. Accidentally arranged to meet two girls at the same place and time. Rookie. Turned out they knew each other and had hooked up the year before. At one point, I fell off the bed and they just continued without me. We're all mates now. They started dating not too long after and are still going out. Oh, that's a cute story. Good for you. Let me ask the next one. Never have I ever faked an orgasm. Don't drink. You watch as Grace, Bella, and Amelia take a sip. Looks like nearly all the girls. No surprise there. Yup. Boys, I hope you're seeing this. The red-faced boys look on a little embarrassed except for Hamish who pushes out his chest. Let me know who they were and I'll give them some pointers. Ignore Hamish. You ignore Hamish. You reckon you perform every time then Hamish? For sure. If anything, I overperform. Hamish looks onward wistfully. The ham man hits the spot every time. Brilliant. Don't know how much I believe that, but whatever. I'll ask the next one. Never have I ever dated someone famous. Drink. You take a sip from your drink. Technically, Zeph counts. 
Amelia gives you an awkward glance. Of course. You notice Amelia nearly taking a sip, but she backs down. I saw your cut move, Amelia. Nah, I don't think it counts. Who was it? It doesn't count. Never have I ever cheated. Drink. You take a sip from your cup and notice a few eyebrows raised. Didn't see that coming, Erica. What happened? I got bored in the relationship. I guess I just got bored in the relationship. Yikes. My head got turned and I gave in to the urges. Fair play. After a brief silence, Hammers takes an unapologetic sip, then Grace and Amelia take a sip in unison. Uh-oh, we got trouble here. You too? I would never have guessed. I want to keep my mistakes in the past. Same. A red-faced Amelia and Grace look to the floor. Moving on, never have I ever got with a friend's ex. Drink. Guilty. You take a sip. Erica living life to the max. Please explain that one. Yeah, why did you get with a friend's ex? I'd always liked him. I'd like them before they started dating my friend. Finders keepers. I don't believe it's only Erica. Anyone else? Suddenly, Marshall takes a sip from his drink. Friend, twin, whatever, it was only a kiss. You got with one of Ozzy's exes? Eh, it's complicated. What? Explain. Honestly, it's nothing, no biggie. The moment is broken when Hammers takes a loud gulp of his drink. Don't wanna put anyone off me. But yeah, I have a bit of a history getting with maids' exes. My buds call me Hanky Panky Hamish. The buds you have left after getting with all their exes? Exactly. Hey, how about this one? Never have I ever said the wrong name in bed. Don't drink. You watch on as Grace, Bella, and Francis all take a sip. That's hilarious. We're so bad. I'm terrible with names. Mine was the cringiest thing ever. Spill. A few years ago, it was my second hookup with this guy called Rick. He said something a bit frisky, so as a joke, I said, Rowdy Rick over here. And he was like, why Rick? So I immediately realized he wasn't called Rick and didn't have a clue what his name was. Spent the rest of the night calling him man and dude to try and hide it. That's too much. It's so hard to set a sexy mood when you're saying dude every minute. Nobody told Francis. Take it easy, dude. Someone needs to keep an eye on you girls. I've never forgotten a girl's name. That's wild. Suppose it helps when there's only been two, Andy. Quality, not quantity. Right, too tame, too tame. Let's get a little closer to the bone. They always do. Never have I ever lied in the villa. Don't drink. You watch as Amelia and Grace each take a sip. Grace lets out a nervous grimace as she gulps her drink down. Amelia looks at you, nervously biting her lip. I suppose I've told a few small lies. Guilty. What kind of lies? Are we talking biggies? I'm sure no one would be interested in the lies we've told in here. Let's leave it. Well, let's leave it for now. Some of them might cause a bit of a scene. What, are they big? Mine's a bit embarrassing. I don't mind telling everyone. You sure you don't want to hear Grace and Amelia's juicy villa lies, Erica? Let's not get into it. Let's not get into it, guys. Fine by me. One more never have I ever before we call it a night. Never have I ever thought my partner in the main villa would twist. I'm a drink. You take a go from your drink as the others look on surprised. Interesting. I hope you're wrong. Grace looks at you before taking a shy sip herself. Hamish cheers, but the others look astonished. Looks like I'm joining you suckers in the main villa after all. Whoop, whoop. Really, Grace? I don't know him well enough to be confident. I just, I don't know. Amelia also takes a drink. If I'm going back with Marshall, I kind of hope Roberto twist. He'll kick himself if not. We should stop there. That's getting too hairy for me. Yes, agreed. Come on, girls, we need a chat, just us. Lots to digest. You and the girls make your way to the poolside. 
That was supposed to be a bit of fun to get us all laughing. Turned into truth bomb after truth bomb. It's only me and Marshall who have decided what we're doing for Stick or Twist. Sounds like some of you are a little unsure. Erica, you drank when Hamish asked if you thought your partner would twist. Are you thinking of twisting from Elliot? I'm considering twisting with a newbie. I'm considering twisting for a newbie. Okay, that's interesting. Honestly, don't think Elliot would be too shocked though. Before I left for Casa, I told him my head wasn't with him. Still, he might hold out for you. And you, Grace? I just don't know how to feel about it all. Hammer seems alright, but Ozzy is my day one. I won't lie, Grace. I don't ship you and Hamish. Really? Hamish gives me super cringe vibes. Yeah, did you hear when he said he had a good track record with bridesmaids? That Coast Guard called? They want their red flag back. You don't think he's right for me? I just get bad vibes off him. Ozzy is a sweetheart in comparison. Not me saying drop him, just my thoughts. I'm so confused, don't know what to do. Who knew that never have I ever could cause such a mess? I want to just not care about Ozzy and crack on. But the truth is, I really miss him. I hope he doesn't twist. Aw, uh, I'm sure he won't, Grace. I don't know, I'm less sure. You hear a phone ping. I've got a text. Islanders, the hideaway will open its doors tonight for one lucky couple. Decide amongst yourselves who it will be. Hashtag hot and unballer. Hashtag Casa Flame. A night in the hideaway? Did we hear the word hideaway? Sounds like something I'd be interested in. We need to decide who's going amongst ourselves. What about me and you, Grace? I think another couple deserves to go instead. It's gotta be between Amelia Marshall and Erica and Andy. Andy raises his eyebrows. Well, who do we think? Well, considering it was Marshall who caught Erica's eye first, it might feel insensitive if he went into the hideaway with Amelia tonight. That's fair. Honestly, when I ran out onto the terrace earlier, it felt like I cut short a bit of a moment between Erica and Andy. You did interrupt our slow dance a bit, won't lie. We were having a bit of a long time. I could tell. Hopefully, I'll get my chance with you soon enough, though. Let Andy and Erica continue their alone time. Also, if Erica goes to the hideaway, we get to dress her up. I love dressing you up, Erica. You look stunning in everything. I vote for Erica, too. Erica and Andy it is. Hang on. I really want to enjoy a night in the hideaway with you, Erica. Obviously, I mean, who wouldn't? Don't throw this away, man. Opportunity of a lifetime. No, I'm just saying this because it's true. Erica, just checking if there's another person you prefer to take. Obviously, I'm hoping there isn't, though. Bella beams at you. I guess it's up to you, Erica. Who would you rather take, me or Andy? I'll go to the hideaway with Andy. Andy, let's go together. Andy gives you a playful smile. It's all good, maybe next time. I suppose I better go and get ready. Yes, come on girls, let's go get her hot new look. See you in there, Andy. You and the girls shut off towards the dressing room. Ugh, I'm so excited for you, Erica. It's gonna be fun. What do you reckon you'll get up to in there? That's for me to know. That's for me to know and him to find out. I bet Andy's so excited about tonight. Of course he is. Look at her. And this is before we've even picked out an outfit. We need to get you the sexiest look going. Something to blow his mind. Here, let's see what there is to wear. Right. Something sexy. We do got this one. I'm gonna go with this one. This is the look. You look so hot. Andy is going to be drooling when he sees you in that. It looks gorge, obvs. I'm ready to go. Yes, you are. Have fun in there, Erica. Not too much fun. You rush out of the dressing room and head for the hideaway. You walk into the hideaway to find Andy sitting on the bed waiting just for you. Here she is. Miss me much? Always. Andy can't help but take you all in. Man, you look beautiful. That outfit is just wow. It's so gorgeous on you. Thanks, Andy. You look like... Like what? Like the girl in my dreams. Cheesy, but cute. It's hard not to be cheesy when you're around. You and Andy glance around the hideaway, taking in the luscious atmosphere. 
This place is romance with a capital R. It's certainly setting a vibe. The perfect room to snuggle up in. Andy shoots you a flirty smell and you join him on the bed. I feel pretty lucky to be here with you right now, Erica. Is that right? No word of a lie. I know you might have some history with a different Casa boy, like Marshall, for example, but I'm not a game player like him. What you see is what you get. Right now, you're my number one priority. Flirt with him. I like hearing you talk like that. I bet you do. And you know what else I like? Go on. I like that we're completely alone in here. Me too, Erica. No more interruptions. Just us. I'd really like to pick up where we left off on the terrace. I'm still thinking about that slow dance. Are you now? You both sit on the end of the bed and notice a saucy looking prop box. Hmm, is that a sexy little box of treats I spy over there? Looks like it might be. Any secret kinks I should know about? I get really excited when a girl blindfolds me. Oh, really? Yeah, your other senses just start working overtime. Every touch and kiss feels like it's been turned up to 11. Andy opens the box, revealing a large feather, a blindfold, and a box of ice cubes. Oh, they could really spice up the night. Do you want to use something from the box, Erica? I'm all right, Andy. I don't think I want to use anything from the box right now. Are you sure? We might learn a little more about each other, and it could set a fun tone for the rest of the night. Honestly, I'm fine. Honestly, I'm fine not using anything from the box, Andy. That's fine by me. Andy leans closer to you. So, how do you want to spend the rest of our night in here? This is our first time sharing a bed together since being here. So, we're just going to snuggle up. I want to have a really nice cuddle with you. That sounds dreamy. You cuddle up next to his warm, muscular body as he gently strokes your back. It's so great to be alone together. Wish we could come here every night. As you drift off to sleep, you feel completely relaxed after a long and eventful day. Unknowingly to you, a postcard is slid under the door. Uh-oh, Erica and Andy's time in the hideaway is about to be interrupted by the dreaded postcard. And I can only imagine what shenanigans those main villa boys have been getting up to while the girls are away. I'm the master of getting up to shenanigans while my girl is away. I once replaced all the sugar in the house with salt and glued all her cupboards closed. That was eight years ago now. Can't wait for her reaction when she finally comes back. It'll be priceless. But how will the girls react to whatever the OG boys have been up to? Find out next time on Love Island. All right, so that was Love Island the Game Double Trouble episode 24, I think. Yeah, that was episode 24. Lengthy episode. <laughs> yeah, so... Amelia and Marshall told me what I knew they was going to tell me, which is Marshall wants to focus on Amelia. And they threw a surprise already saying that she's going to twist and take him back. So, yeah, done with Marshall, I guess. Uh, so we're just going to try and focus whatever time we have left on Andy and see what happens there. I don't know if I'm going to bring him back. I'm considering it, like I told the girls. Then we, oh, me and Andy chatted on the terrace. We had a slow dance. And then Bella came to get us to go play Never Have I Ever, so we did that. After that, spoke to the girls, find out what's going on with them, what they're thinking. And then we got a text talking about that the hideaway is open. Everybody decided that I should go because it wouldn't be right to have Marshall go, being as though everybody knows that me and Marshall was kind of a thing, so it wouldn't be right. So they chose for me to go and it was up to me to pick either Bella or Andy. I could have sworn I told Bella before that I only see her as a friend. So I don't even know why she's still trying, but whatever. So I chose Andy, of course, and we went to the hideaway. There's like one clip that probably didn't get recorded. It's because when I went to go pick up my phone, I accidentally pressed it and it moved on. But it was just the part in the hideaway where they found the box of, you know, naughty toys or whatever. Decided not to play with that because I didn't want to spend all my gems. Yeah, so we just snuggled, talked, and then went to sleep. And then there was a postcard slid under the door, which I'm assuming is the postcard that has a picture of what the main guys are doing in the villa. So that's going to be an issue. <laughs> so yeah, that was Love Island the Game Double Trouble episode 20. 
That was episode 24. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Join the fam, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later.